What is up world? I am the Hungarian Experiment and today is an exciting day. Tomorrow I am doing my very first growth hormone testing. I'm doing a urine analysis to hopefully get a great reading of what my base growth hormone output is. So to prepare for this, to make sure that my body was set up in a standard and to be an informative way so that you guys can follow, over the month of April, I tried to optimize my hormones as much as possible. If you guys are interested, all the factors that I'm trying to optimize are in the video there. And over April, I called that the perfect month. So it's technically May 10th because I just finished up work. I did a nice six and a half hour serving shift and then I hit up the sauna for about 20 minutes. If you guys are interested, I displayed that all in my Snapchat, but I'll show the pictures here just so you guys can see the types of food I ate and made sure I went to the sauna and I carried out all these life factors that I am trying to optimize. So my whole goal is that I want to get three growth hormone tests done to get a nice baseline reading of how my body is producing growth hormone. Am I in the top percentile? Am I the middle percentile? Am I in the lowest percentile? Now personally, because of intermittent fasting, the sauna, and all my nutrition, again, all the factors you can find in the video up there, I believe that they're helping me to optimize my growth hormone levels and to produce a higher growth hormone output. So I guess we'll find out once we get the results from this urine test, but I want to make sure I'm nice and set up and I'm all prepared to collect my urine in the morning there. And then once I get it, I'm going to throw it up in this sample kit, take it right off to FedEx and then send it off to Rocky Mountain Analytical. And then hopefully in about seven to 10 days, I will get the results. So I wanna take you guys through this whole journey. I wanna make sure that while I'm getting this hormonal testing done, that you guys can easily follow along and not just follow along the process I'm taking to get it done, but you understand how I live my life, how I carry out my lifestyle. So that way you guys have a clear understanding of all the factors that are affecting me and my body. So, once again, it is about 12.30 in the morning. I'm gonna head to bed in about half an hour here. Just got a little bit of editing to do. Then I'm gonna take you through my whole journey in the morning there of collecting my urine, putting it in the test tube. I'll just save it all for tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Two thousand years later. So the whole point of my YouTube channel is to be as informative as possible. With these growth hormone tests that I'm doing, I want people to be able to go back in my life and be able to see the different factors I was implementing into my life and then see the results from these growth hormone tests and blood tests and all this testing that I want to get done in the future on a long-term weekly basis. This way, anyone can be able to go back and look throughout my life see the different things I changed in my life and then to see the results that occurred. So the days prior to my testing, I wanna make sure they are extremely consistent week to week. So when I go to do these tests, the day prior is not affecting the test results at all. So this is the standard that I'm gonna be covering when I go to do this urine test on a weekly basis throughout May to get a nice baseline reading. 
Yesterday I stopped eating at 1.30. When I woke up this morning at 9.30 to do my urine test, I was at 20 hours completely fasted. So that is one standard on the days prior to doing my testing that I'm gonna make sure is carried out through the month of May. Also, I'm gonna make sure that I'm in a caloric deficit about three to 500 calories every day prior to doing these urine tests. So yesterday I went out to uh, Mandarin with my mother there. I was quite busy during the day, so I just wanted to get all that food in within a very short eating window. I'll throw the pictures up on the screen here for you guys. I had about three plates of food. I'm gonna estimate it out about 1,600 to 1,800 calories. And then I had a nice big ass salad after that about an hour after. So I had about a three and a half to four hour eating window, which is again, another standard that I wanna do prior to the tests. I wanna be having a short eating window, a 20 hour fast, and a calorically restricted diet. I believe that this is going to help with producing a higher growth hormone output. So this is the stuff I wanna be testing and getting a nice baseline reading of. As well, another factor that I want to make sure I'm standardizing over May is the sauna use. I wanna make sure I'm getting 20 minutes of sauna the night prior to doing this growth hormone testing. But that's basically it there. So on the days prior to getting my urine test done, when I wake up in the morning and I do my urine sample, I wanna make sure I'm at 20 hours fasted, I'm in a caloric deficit, and I get a nice sauna session in the day before. Now in terms of my physical activity, yesterday I did no gym time. I've been working out hard for the week prior, so that is another standard that before I go to do these tests, the day prior, I'm not gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna do any heavy, excessive lifting. Just my standard physical activity, running around at work, serving, and then any uh, any morning experiments that I do, handstand push-ups, stomach vacuums, my morning stretches and meditation. That's basically it for my physical activity for the days prior. Right now, I'm currently headed off to FedEx. I'm not really sure what to expect with this. I got the whole sample kit with me with all the FedEx information and envelopes here. So I'm gonna stop off and I'll let you guys know what happens. And now another standard that I'm gonna be committing to is that over May, is that I'm gonna have cheat days after I do the test. So today, right now, it is currently 1220. I'm sitting at about 23 hours completely fasted. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday at 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little depleted, I'm a little run down, and I wanna have a cheat day. So I think if I standardize these cheat days and I have them the day I am getting the test done after I've tested myself, this will be a nice standard. So that will give my body a good five to seven days of clean eating to get nice and back into my typical lifestyle. So that way, when I do this standardized whole month baseline test, the results should be consistent and should be pretty much the same over these three weeks that I'm getting this testing done. I am now at the FedEx office and I'm about to ship my urine across the country. All right, that's pretty easy there. Basically just put that whole sample kit after you've done everything into the FedEx bag. You bring it here with the information that they supplied for you. You don't have to pay for anything because it's already paid for. And she said it's getting shipped off today. So hopefully should arrive at Rocky Mountain Analytical tomorrow. And then they said that they're gonna have the results within seven to 10 days. So I'll make sure I take you on the journey once I get the results. Right now, I'm gonna head off for a cheat day. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check out the next video, Post Growth Hormone Test Cheat Day. Thanks for watching, world. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. I am the Hungarian Experiment.